can you solve this coding challenge? It's called contains duplicate two. Given an integer array nums and an integer called K return true if there are two distinct indices I and J in the array such that nums I equals nums J an absolute value of I minus J is less than or equal to K. Here's an example. This is a little confusing way to put it, but basically what they're saying is, is there a duplicate within the range of three? So is there a duplicate within three spaces from each other? In this case, one and one are within three spaces of each other, K, so this is true. And in this case down here, there's no duplicate within two of each other because it's one, one, three, and all of these are at least like three apart. So this answer is false. So that's what the problem is asking. So to solve this, what you want to do is what's called a sliding window technique. And what you want to do is K is going to be the sliding window. So you want to have, you want to look at each of these numbers basically in groups of three. And what you want to do is use a set. And a set is a data structure that allows you to put numbers in it or put things in it uh, that are unique. Uh, and like here we're looking for things that match. So if you put something in the set that are unique, you can check that nothing in the set, you know that nothing in the set matches. Uh, and so what you can do is start adding things to the set until you get to three, your range, and then delete the first thing out of the set as you add the next thing so that you basically kind of have this sliding window view. Moving over to the code, what you want to do, like I said, is create a set, start looping through your array of nums, and then you want to check first if the set has the current number that you are in the array. If so, you want to return true. That's kind of the last part of it. But the first part of the logic is you want to start adding things into the set, like I said. But you want to, you want to remove things based on the size of K. Once you get over that size of K, you want to delete the first number out of the set so you can have this sliding window. And that way you'll know... Um, once you get to, once you find a duplicate here, if the set has the number, it equals the true, but you know, you're only looking as far as K, which is your sliding window. Cause you can, like the problem said, it has to be a duplicate within the range of K. And so that's how you do this problem. And if you get all the way through this loop without ever finding a duplicate within the range of K, then you return false. The time complexity of this would be big O of N. Our size of our input is called at n nums length. We're basically in big old notation doing that many operations uh, once this scales up that are not constant operations like these are. And in space complexity, we basically have the size of the set. And the maximum this could be, if all numbers unique, could be the size of num. So it could be n, or it can be, or it will be k, whichever one of these is smaller. So it's kind of a little more complicated space complexity, but that's what it is. So I hope that makes sense. Please let me know if you have questions or if you know a better way to do this problem.